able to go far off into these remote places and climb on these ancient stone giants really is a humbling experience. It makes you feel really small and insignificant to be just a tiny speck climbing in these places that have been here for millions of years and will be here long after we're gone. some canyon there could be waiting the next best thing that's why i'm always searching and that's why i'm looking and it makes it all the more worthwhile to do go out to those really far places when you do find an extra spectacular climb i'm just chilling kick back killing everybody's evil
Climbing around Flagstaff, in particular the limestone roof climbing, is really special in the sense that I haven't come across it any other place that I've been. Walking up on a lot of these giant roofs is like coming across a crash-landed UFO stuck on the side of a hill. So sick. You don't get to pick what you find either. Like it's just kind of as is and how it's found. So like it's more of a style that's free. Most of the big limestone roofs are really scary to climb and they are high off the ground but by the time I'm ready to climb them I'm definitely not scared of doing them and I'm more motivated to climb them than ever. Fear is kind of like a crutch I suppose. When you put fear aside, you can really do some amazing things that you never thought capable of before. A lot of people tell me I must be crazy to climb on the things that I do. And 
I think you would be crazy not to. Probably the most spectacular looking when there's a line of hold hanging from the ceiling and you can somehow dangle and swing your way through it and make it possible. The techniques to climb them are generally very strange. You use unorthodox beta, you use your feet like your hands and your hands like your feet. Really working toe cams, toe hooks, finding bicycles, turning around, going feet first. Sometimes the most unlikely beta becomes the most logical and easiest way to climb through some of these overhangs.
I go looking for boulders, I'm looking for the very best thing possible. Things that I would try to imagine in my head if, if I could create something to climb. What would it look like? That's what I'm looking for when I go into these canyons. So when you do find something that inspiring, you'll go through really great lengths to get to them. sort of a unique connection with the desert and nature to come out to these places and climb on these ancient boulders that have just been carved and changed by water and time over the years and somehow we're able to find a way to connect with that through climbing. magnificent they just like they draw you back you have to come back like and that's what I'm looking for all the time I suppose that's why you go into every canyon and around every bend because you have no idea if that's waiting around the next corner you could paddle your boat downstream and find best boulder problem you've ever seen and we don't know so that definitely makes it a worthwhile thing to pursue
This is the thrill divide.